When we finished recapping the Fifty Shades of Grey series, we had a lot of ideas about how we would send that project off and kind of celebrate the end. Not a lot of those ideas came to fruition, mainly because we were done. Like, done done. A lot of you guys have reached out to us in the wake of the release of the movie. We really appreciate all of the feedback that you guys give us, the continued support, the new comments on these older posts. All of that stuff really brightens our day, especially when it's to say, yes, you are right, that source material is awful. It is awful, friends. So consider this your friendly reminder that in addition to it being bad plot-wise, E.L. James was just not a good writer. Sometimes James would write these descriptions of facial expressions and it just highlighted the fact that it seemed like nobody read back this work. Like there was no editor, she wrote it, she never read it back. Some of these are expressions that you will maybe see used in other writing and but just because they are used elsewhere doesn't mean it makes any more sense. Some of it is just straight James bad writing. I had a list I had collected across the three books of these bad facial expressions and I asked a bunch of people from the internet if they would, you know, Give him a try. My name is Tim. I am the writer at thattinywebsite.com. Okay. Hello. Um, take one of E.L. James. Do you even own a face? <laughs> so I'm trying to attempt to do all the faces, but as I read them over this morning, I was like, okay, some of them, how are you supposed to make them? Hi, my name is Jessica, and I'm here to attempt the Fifty Shades of Grey Do You Have a Face Challenge. So, here we go. His mouth drops open and I glimpse the tip of his tongue between his teeth. Like that? That's not sexy. Yeah, nailed it. Now, see, the problem there is that your tongue can't go between your teeth when your mouth is wide open. Okay, alright, let's see. No. A slow smile spreads across his face. So, a slow smile, like... I, I didn't actually see what that looked like, so, um, I hope it was good. I don't know what this is. I like this one. Is that even that she says that the smile spreads slowly? It's a slow smile. Like the smile isn't as smart as the other facial expressions. <laughs> that felt creepy. His mouth flattens to a crooked straight line. A crooked straight line, okay. Um. but how can a straight line be crooked? I don't understand. I don't understand what this is supposed to be like. This is a, a straight line. She drags her greedy eyes away. Do they look greedy? It's like make lover eyes to the camera. It's like, what's up? Thanks, post-production. This is my favorite one, I think. I wipe my hand against the back of my mouth. And to be really honest, I'm not sure how to try that because what's the back of my mouth? I don't I don't know, Yale James. I mean, am I, do I have to fit my whole hand in my mouth to do this? First I thought this was going to be easy, but then I thought, where's the back of your mouth and how do you get there? Some sort of thing like that. I, I don't have tiny, delicate, lady, Lame hands. His eyes darken and heat at once. <sighs> Dark? How, how do your eyes darken? Did it, did it, did it heat? Did it, did it do the thing? Uh, the next one was obviously narrated by Ben Stein. His mouth pops open as he inhales sharply. And then he grins, a radiant, all teeth showing, joyous grin. Wow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh god, I'm never doing that again. <gasps> I don't know. That seems more demented to me. But what do I know? I'm not a, I'm not a famous writer. <sighs> this is like... I don't know. <laughs> what? E.L. James! Uh, his gaze hooded, his eyes darkening. Uh, hooded? Is that like... I am completely unaware that I am chewing my bottom lip. My mouth pops open as I gasp and swallow at the same time. I thought about this too, because how are you supposed to gasp and swallow at the same time? You can't do both, because then you would choke. I'm pretty sure about that. I didn't do the swallowing. Oh well. <gasps> Alright, that's how you get the hiccups, Anna. Alright, not not cool. Mouth twists with humor. Yeah. Like a smile? Like I don't Because I always picture Grey as a super villain, I'd like to think that this is kind of like a <laughs> Mouse forms a hard line. Not a soft line. A hard line, so. I blink up at him, gasping. Freeing my upper lip. <gasps> oh no, wait, I had to free the lip. Um. <gasps> <laughs> I've never done that. If I gasp, my mouth automatically opens. I think. And then what? So, like, so she's looking down and then, like. His brow furrows, his eyes widening, he blinks twice. So. I don't know. Thanks to everyone who participated. There was tons of footage that I couldn't fit into this one video. So, two things. I would love to do something like this again, either with more facial expressions or with the things that the inner goddess and subconscious did. If you're interested in doing something like that, you can reach out to us at team at snarksquad.com. Two, I would like to keep this series going on about do you own a face and not necessarily with Fifty Shades of Grey. So if you're reading and you find a questionable description of a facial expression, please note it down, write down the book and the author, and you can either recreate it on video and send it our way or just send the description and location of the facial expression so we can ask other people to try and recreate it as well. Send all of those things to team at snarksquad.com and let's keep asking writers if they own faces with which to practice the things that they tell us their characters are doing. Hot. I bet that, that's really hot. <laughs> okay, I've been ridiculous. I'm done. I, I do not live up to the Fifty Shades of Grey Allure. I can't do it. I would never fit in. I don't have I don't think I have a serial killer face, you know. That's all I got. Bye.